Here is youngest lawmaker at the Kwara State House of Assembly, Rupta Yad Shitu, and other stakeholders have identified negative influence of Nigerian celebrities through social media as one of the major causes of the rising tide of substance abuse in the country. She too, a 27-year-old lawmaker and other speakers, disclosed this at the first Kwara Stakeholders Summit on Drug Abuse Prevention and Control in lowering the Kwara State Capital. According to research conducted by the United Nations in 2018, Kwara State topped the drug abuse and trafficking list with 13% in the North Central States, an alarming development, no doubt. And this is informing the stakeholder summit on drug abuse prevention and control where Nigeria's youngest lawmaker Rukayat Shitu and other speakers advise state and federal governments to regulate drug-related content on social media to salvage the future of Nigerian youths. Uh, I believe that one of the major causes of drug abuse is the influence of some of our celebrities whom majorly all young people believe to see them as a role model. And the only access that we have to see all of these people is the social media. So I see my social media, I see my role model, like they are not my role model, but I can say majorly every young people see them as a role model, doing all of these things on social media. We tend to copy them, we tend to believe that what they are doing is right. And on this, uh, on this, I will urge the federal government of Nigeria to regulate uh, drug-related content on social media. I believe from this, we will have a way forward. And this is a uh, responsibility for even the National Assembly and even the State Assembly. We've been taking several steps, which includes both in the supply reduction and the demand reduction, to see that this menace is reduced in our society, ranging from drug prevention programs, sensitization, and advocacy, which also give birth to this stakeholder summit that we are holding today. Because we need to bring all stakeholders on board so that we can have a common front in the fight against drug abuse. The state government cannot do it alone. That's why we're bringing in people to bring ideas so that we can shape our policy better in fighting this menace. 76% are less than 25 years. That is 76% for between 14 and 25 years. This is why in our projection, we have to engage the youths a lot. We have to engage the high institution a lot. We have to engage the secondary school a lot. We have to engage the community a lot. While calling for a multidimensional approach in solving the menace of drug abuse, experts and other speakers also raised concerns over the new trend of exploring the cemeteries for alternatives. The consensus by the experts and stakeholders was that to effectively prevent substance abuse, there is the need for a critical review of the national drug control strategies and decentralization of prevention policies to the state, local government, wards and communities and to the least possible units. People have started going to the cemetery to assume corpse, you know, granulated bones and sniff. So if, for example, there is a ban on corpse without containing codeine and tramadol, and somebody who is addicted to such is not able to get it, what do you think the person will do? He, will, he or she will go extra mind to get something that will give him or her the high. If nothing is done, it is likely to lead to increase in criminal activities, and there are no facilities, no competent manpower to address the situations. It is a threat to each and every one of us. Battling drug use among the youth is a key focus area for my office, and I have had in-depth consultations and discussions with health professionals working in this area. I would, however, recommend that the approach taken in providing treatment should be one which combines medication with psychotherapy. As um, some health professionals have noted, that in Nigeria, the general approach tends to be rather heavy on medication in addressing mental health challenges resulting from drug abuse. So if we all agree that we require a multidimensional approach, it means that it's not just only the job of the governor, it's not only the job of uh, the executive, the, the legislator. We all have to be on board in solving this. Hello. 
Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.